Hello, this is Haku Devine, and today we are going on a subreddit called r slash insane parents. This is a subreddit with parents that are quite literally insane, and I thought it might be a good idea to dive down it. See what uh, we can uncover about some of the more crazy people on the internet. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And let's get right into this. Not to be too real right now, but I just figured out my mother made a TikTok and leaves me hate comments. I'm like, literally speechless. Red, who I'm, I mean, Opie's mom, commented. You need to get a real job. I don't normally share things like this, but wow, this one really freaked me out. I haven't spoken to her in years. I can see why. She seems toxic. <sighs> when is your dot when is your graduation going to be held? As a daughter of a friend of mine, and it's going to have the graduation in twentieth of November. I know that might not and you might not uh, invite me to come, but I wish to know when. It's 21st, not 20th. Mine is the 21st, and I don't want to choose between you and Dad. Plus, Joseph is definitely coming, and that isn't negotiable. But three are allowed to come. You say, a Joseph, who is coming? I imagine Jacob and just Joseph and Jacob. If you want to tell Dad, go ahead. I just tell oh, my friend that I'm not invited. Honestly, I can guess why you wouldn't be invited to a lot of things. Okay, don't want to choose between you two and all the drama. I honestly want it to be quiet and fun. Dad will still know as he, he will be t taking a Jacob to the graduation so you can't and as well I'll tell him to come. Don't worry, there's not uh, going to be any drama from my side. I know enough of now what I mean to you. I'm not even going to be home on the 21st. You are... Kim Hutt. <laughs> if you invite me. But I knew that you were not going to invite me. Even though you don't tell me anything, I have many friends to tell what's happening around as their children respect them, even if they don't live with them. Graduation is something you celebrate it with the ones you love and it shows clearly who you love surely not me okay I mean honestly from that text conversation alone and only that context it seems like I, I it would be really hard to respect or like you That you heard from me, you decided to close uh, uh, those chapters. No problem, it would be much better if you could have explained to me why you don't want to talk about anything about it. Including just a simple yes and no question. Not just all of a sudden shut me out, out from this and then make that hurtful suggestion. I am not sure if you truly realize the suggestion and sound sarcastic to me. I hope you remember when you would I'd like to talk about issues and you're feeling with them. Mom was there for you. I understand where you are coming from with yes or no questions. Closed-ended questions are not probing questions. I just do not want to be in the middle of a family dynamic involving two or more people. Theoretically speaking, if someone has a question regarding someone else, they go to that person. Due to family estrangement, I understand it is not possible, so I understand why you're upset and hurt when I made that sarcastic remark. 
I just do not want to get involved in the business of other family members. I also do not want to be... Oh, I guess it just cuts off there and doesn't resume. I have no control over who you ask. If you will find the right person to ask, what kind of answers you get to, you get it. But I have the choice to decide what I allow into my life. I can take generic questions about how so-and-so is doing, but I am redirecting all other questions to the person you ask about. Whether that can be over the phone or via text. If I can communicate directly with someone, I go to that person. Text, call me. But I do not want to engage in any kind of three-way conversation that is meant to take place between two people. I will not respond if anybody tries to overreach out to me through another person. This goes for all my fa for all of my family members and colleagues. Should this topic come up in the future or discussion, I would be happy to talk about my viewpoints. I am letting you know that my answers are not going to change. It's just as important to learn from past chapters as it is to close them. I hope we have come to an understanding regarding this issue. You know you have messed up as as a parent when your kid is talking this freaking coldly to you. That, that's scary. Your kid should not be e feeling like this is the only way to get through to you. <sighs> I understand where you're coming from with yes and Okay. This is the part that i actually got freaking and cut off. Oh, they did it out of order. The family is so interesting. I understand it's not possible, so I understand why you're upset and hurt when I made that sarcastic remark. I just do not want to get involved in the business of other family members. I just... I also do not want to be speaking or answering for them. It's on me that I did not address this before. Going forward, if there is a question regarding any of my family members, I will say something like, I am enough for to answer for so-and-so. Please do not direct this question to me. Or since questions are directed towards me, I will not get involved. Or I will not answer for so-and-so. I have no old control over you. Okay. They did the picture order a little bit wrong. I did not ask you to be a messenger. Yes, you did. <sighs> Basically... Don't use someone as a messenger owl. If you understand that reference, that's great for you. I still have a little bit of nostalgia from those movies. Not much, though. I do not ask you to be a messenger between parties who, or engage in a three-way conversation, did I? In fact, I was one who advised you not to do that and draw that line. Remember? I hope you can see the differences in these situations. You were literally doing so. I don't think this just came about unprompted, Ed Karen. Any generation, any genuine question or comment could be read into negative motive or connotation if the receiver is guarded up or has little trust. Hmm, I wonder what uh, 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 you might have done to make the receipt to make OP not trust you. I validate your difficult role in the family, so from now on, would not bring up anything relating to your family members in the future if doing so makes you so sensitive. Not to your dad either, as he is not always honest anyway. Hey, what's the point? While trying to get your points across to you, sarcastic responses. Be mindful, you could also damage relationships. I'm letting you know that the way of sarcasm you use in communication to your mother is not acceptable. But your apology is accepted this time. Which your explanation could have come first. Moving forward, please work on your communication skills. You're one to talk. Sheesh. Ooh, that has a spoiler on it. I don't touch spoilers. Sorry. Do you have the power on at your house? Yes. I like to have a talk with you sometime. I'm soon about the truth and non-truths you have assumed over the years. I like to straighten out some misconceptions that should have been addressed years ago. But days or times are good 
for you on your schedule. I am limited on Tuesdays and Wednesdays because of infusions by nurse for me. It's time to have this talk. I have always loved you. Your mom. Uh huh. A gaslight session. Let's go. Oh gosh, I can't read. This is Opie's father. After telling him that they don't want to hear this political BS. And of course. I can see where on the political scale this person leans. Hey, pretty girl, how come you haven't given me what you said you would? A simple list of three things that, in your opinion, candidate Joe Biden offered or assured that you felt justified your vote from when you said, I just felt we need a change. Okay, first of all, people voted not Trump because Trump was literally the worst president we've had in a long time. Literally spreading mis medical misinformation and causing over 300,000 COVID-19 deaths. That's what you told me. Obviously, I was very disappointed, but promised you several times that I was not upset and would not castigate you. Get angry or anything. I, ain't. I respect your right to vote your, your beliefs unabashed. You promised that you would send me those reasons multiple times. I haven't seen them yet. One. Biden isn't Trump, too. I'm not really sure that anyone really voted for Biden. They voted his party. I think most people were actually voting for Sanders, actually. Three. Dude is free freaking base. First thing he did was pretty much shut down a lot of... um bigots that were being awful to people. I haven't seen them yet, so I figured I'd attach a video that lists several of Biden's gifts to this country's sovereignty that will adver adversely affect this world for decades to come. I know you don't watch the news, and if and when you do, you don't, don't watch the channels that actually report the facts. I'm guessing this is going to be a Fox News thing, or some other incredibly right right-wing bias this thing. So here's a short video from the floor of the Senate where President Biden's policies and actions are being read out loud for non-informed people to be shocked enough to wake up and witness what is being done to our country. <sighs> James Lankford. Actually, I'm not even going to look them up. Knowing what this person is saying, I can already tell that this is probably not going to be in any a realm of reality factual. By even the most remote definition of the word. Obviously, I'm not suggesting or saying that all two and a half billion to 3.75 million are all going to be dumped in one city, town, county, or state. Just simplifying is so that and denting for an illustration and in a microcosm reflection for analytical purposes. Nothing, huh? Maybe this is some of the changes you thought we need. By admin is now agreeing to pay illegal immigrants. $450,000 for being separated from their families when deported while Trump admin was out in office. Don't believe this? It? Watch this. How is that a bad thing? Wow, the government is actually paying back people. It treated it awfully. The government treated a group of people absolutely horribly and is now reflecting on their actions and is willing to pay them back for it. Also, is that Tucker Carlson? <laughs> I knew you were going to do some um, right-wing bullshit.
And that's if he's even telling the truth, which I don't believe for a second. But seriously, you're mad at the, the president for, I check my notes, having basic empathy and, uh, and care for other human beings. Then you know having basic empathy and care for other human beings is one of the signs that your our child is a is left leaning. Oh my goodness. Reddit. Please. Wait. That wasn't a button. That was control C. That I was supposed to see control R here. What the heck did that do? Oh no. Wait, what happened? What did I just do? Crap, I think I screwed up a little bit here. <sighs> oh, there's a little bit more when you actually click on it. That's crazy. I told him twice. The first time he responded with the longest message being more shit that I did not read. After I told him to stop the first time, he sent me five more political messages over a year and two. So I, and I was so done. Now he refuses to talk to me and my brother. Even says that he's pissed that I'm cutting him out of my life. If you talk political stuff around me, is this as insane as I think it is? I just want him to be my dad, bro. I still think it's really weird for your father to be calling you a pretty girl when uh, one, I'm assuming that you're a grown adult, and two, you're his daughter. Sounds creepy to me. But maybe that's just me? Oh. And now he's actually bringing up Fox News, which I knew he was going to at some point because as Fox News is kind of the right's favorite propaganda machine. By the end of this year, over two and a half billion illegal freeloaders released into the interior of this country. In just 10 months since Biden took office, it's on January 20th, 2021. And that's just the ones that they are able to count, and all the ones that are able to sneak in at night, undetected. The real number is more often than not, 50 to 60 percent higher. So two and a half million is actually probably 3,750,000. Put it into perspective, the population of the entire Tri-Cities it's 283,846. I'm quite sure it's probably increased by at least three while you're writing that message. Is this one of the changes that you felt we needed that Biden would provide us with? Dude is going on about this, so. I can see why you didn't want him to do his, do his crap. Let me just grab my phone. Where did I put it? Here it is. <sighs> Beautiful. Just love when that happens. Hang on. Hmm. 
All right, now we can try reloading this. It's looking like today is just a really bad internet day. What was I on? Um, like image four or five? No, it's on image four. Maybe this is one of the changes that you felt we needed. Under Biden's leadership, U.S. labor productivity suffers worst decline in 40 years. That was actually... This is a thing that happens a lot. When uh, Republicans and get control of the office, they seem to... Um, do this thing where they artificially inflate a lot of stuff and make the economy look really good when it's not. And then, and, and but that makes it, it a mess as in the long run that Democrats have to do stuff that makes the economy look, look bad to a lot of people when they get into office to try and fix the problem that the, the Republicans caused by by basically for a new economy for the poor people, which would be the majority of the U.S. I get it. I was busy being a teenager. I wanted to see what Biden would do for or the country. But can we please drop this topic? It's been a year of speaking with you. And when I, I'll get a, at, a, at another 30-minute lecture, or rather that I know this conversation is going to come every time I see you or talk to you. Well, thank you for finally responding. I like to be able to talk to my dad about that. I'm wondering if the conversation is going to be you talking about politics this, this time or not. I really don't care about politics. I just have opinions that I see in the world that and I'm not, but I'm not proactive to change it. I don't agree with with your dad at all, OP. But once again, that's because I have all the symptoms of being very left leaning, including basic human empathy. My thoughts, just feel that for whatever reason you decide to pull the lever for Biden should be of great interest to you and should be revisited to check and verify that uh, what was said that you felt was important is what is happening. Is he doing what he said? I'm sorry, did Trump ever do anything he said? He said he would improve the lives of a lot of veterans and he actually made everything worse and shut down the government multiple times because they were looking into his crimes. which actually harmed a lot of veterans who were er, er living on retirement, which is paid by the government. And as you should probably know by now, what made a lot of people vote again, vote for or left leaning in politicians was literally get Trump out of office. That was all that it was. Anyway. You must not forget what made you vote for him. If it's not important and it gets forgotten, who do you believe the, the next time? You we need to be reminded of his successes and the failures. You cannot do that if you don't know all the facts of what is transpiring right in front of our eyes. The adverse consequences of having this guy in charge are beginning to impact everyone. Even the most die-hard socialists, such communists, such Marcus, I, I, ideologues. Have you begun to admit that this is not the guy that they thought they and they were electing? So just what is being revealed? They're revealing that this is not a one-man presidency. He's a puppet, nothing more than a mouthpiece for the shed. Oh boy, this is getting into conspiracy EPS. Anyway. A 
lot of stuff that Biden that that happened after Biden became president is a little bit of Trump's fault still. Particularly if you're talking about, let's say, the Supreme Court being that Trump chose four justices of, obviously they're going to be incredibly right-leaning because Trump was in was going for the Republican vote in the first place. Which is why I think things are happening like Roe v. Wade being over returned and other situations like that. Even though I think that all justices said they wouldn't overturn old things like that, they clearly changed their mind. Then they were reacting, so what was, what was being revealed? They were revealing this is not a one-man presidency. He is a puppet. Nothing more to know. A mouthpiece for the shadow forces. Oh my goodness. That are governing as a presidential cabinet that is operating with zero exposure and complete devoid of responsibility or even a single shred of redress. He is not in charge. You can label me a crackpot conspiracy theorist or whatever you wish, but this is not a theory. Wow, rich people control the government? Who could have guessed? You know me, I live and breathe politics, whether that be listening to talk radio or regular news coverage, etc. Few normal people will saturate their lives with more information for both Republican and Democrat news stories and viewpoints than I do. It seemed like you mostly did Republican news stories. I don't think I've seen any Democratic news stories coming from you, and nobody likes Democrats. People like leftists, not Democrats. There's a difference. Slightly. So when I talk to people, I pretty much know immediately their level of interest in politics. People that vote for these Democrats all seem to seem... ...in tune that you just... ...has said. That you just laid out. Oh, okay, that's what you're saying. I vote for these Democrats. I'll sing the same tune link that you just laid out. Yep, I admit, I admit I vote for him or her without any clue as to what their campaign promises actually entailed or feel like I was sold a complete sack of lies, but I don't really care what happens. I'm just as one vote. What importance am I? Really, it's not even that uh, at anyone really voted for Biden, they just voted against Trump. I think the more popular vote was actually Sanders. That is an absolutely abhorrent statement to make for anyone to make. The issues of foot directly impact your life now more than ever and could have been avoided with a more involved or informed voter pool. When I point something out to you, it's because I want you to know what is going on in hopes of just once while you surround with people that most likely share the same views and who know those they may have influenced your decisions. That when an issue arises, is in a conversation. God damn, there are a lot of photos of this guy's rant. You have at least some of knowledge and real facts about it. I Did you know, hear that Biden said that he is in favor of the Second Amendment but wants to ban assault rifles? You answered, no, it's much worse than you thought. He is in favor of the Second Amendment and he doesn't just want it to end assault rifles. He wants to criminalize the sale and possession of all semi-automatic firearms with the mandatory surrender law. And it gives the government the authority to go from house to house without any warrant and demand that you know, in order to hand over any and all of them. That is never going to happen. And that has never been in a law that at any government can even enforce because it breaks so many parts of the, the bills of rights, including in the fact that you that all officers and members of the government do need a freaking and, and warrant to even and enter a house. Unless you just leave the door open. They can't break in without a warrant. That is literally a part of the Constitution, and I don't think they can really get away with it. Or something like that. I don't want you to think that I'm lecturing you every chance I get, just trying to make if you're aware of what is actually going on to pique an interest in you that you might want that you might look into later. I what I, it that can't be right. Did that actually happen? That's not the way it's supposed to be. I'm gonna look at this closer. Weird because you are spreading some misinformation of your own right now.
because this doesn't sound right. That is why I ask you for the top three things that influence your decision to vote for him so I can keep you abreast with the progress of failures of the important issues to you. You never gave me anything, so I just started guessing. I'm not saying that you or anyone else should be as informed as I. Not even close. You didn't respond to anything, so I just kept poking you. Finally got back to me. Did you read or watch any of the news stories I sent you? I'll do my best to not talk about politics with you, but I'll send you the really ridiculous stories like the latest one that Biden's going to pay. Oh no, people are getting paid. Who cares? $458,000 to a million dollars to illegal immigrants that were separated from their kids for a month or two. A month or two. It doesn't matter. They were wrongfully arrested by a government that was run by... I, 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 I erase it as douchebag. With one of our military men die in combat, the government pays the surviving family $250,000. And guess what? They don't will never get to see that person again because they're dead. But an illegal that was just sep temporarily separated from their kids gets almost twice that payout. What do you think of that one? I think we should stop. Of sending so many troops out to fight and, and things that they aren't really helping with. Maybe we should uh, redirect some of our military budget into things like healthcare or things that people actually want. Watch this clip. Unbelievable. I'm not preaching to you, soapboxing or anything like that. Just wanted to share this video with you. In my opinion, everyone should see this for exactly what it is and what is so every time. We're watching civilization collapse in real time. Oh yeah, that's because of capitalism. Our local, state, and federal government spending billions upon billions of dollars for friend. Oh no, this guy's gonna be an asshole, isn't he? Just remind you of who you voted for and what you do it again. I most certainly hope not. Watch the first couple minutes of this absolutely embarrassing. Watch Bumble. Find your phone book his way through a press conference and ridiculous statements. <sighs> if it's from Fox News, I already know it's misinformation. Fox News uh, kind of lost all credibility for me. Damn it, Dad, Ed, stop bringing this shit up. I don't want to talk to you as often, and because it seems 9 out of 10 conversations is that we have somehow. End up going to politics. Yeah, that's kind of how it is when you have a Republican family member. If you are not Republican, and then you have a Republican family member, they're going to keep on bringing up politics every single time you try to talk to them because they want to try and force you to change your opinion, even though you already made your, your, your opinion based on logic and they were just born into their opinion. That's actually why Republicans are, have such a, a huge free, a huge thing against abortion. Damn it, Dad! Stop bringing this shit up. I don't want to talk to you as often because it seems nine out of ten conversations that we have somehow end up with you going to politics and illegal immigrants and how Trump being impeached isn't end right when Biden did the same shit or whatever. I don't care. Leave me out of your political views, please. I've asked this of you in the past, and you did well for a bit. But now you're going back, and now you're back at it. Every time I get a text from you, I'm afraid that's another political or racist thing to talk about, rather than just being my dad. I love you, but I can't have you keep, keep doing this to me and maintain a relationship with you. Please be my dad again, instead of spitting political or hate junk at me, expecting me to internalize it. This is what falling down the rabbit hole of... Uh, Right wing bullshit does to people. This is actually why so many incels are Republican. You aren't happy if you're a bigot. It's just a fact. Noted. You received nothing further from me. 
Thank you. I appreciate it. I love you, and I hope we can return to a normal father-daughter relationship sooner rather than later. I'm planning to become a bartender. We got mail from Cadillac for you. Now, OP is the one trying to be at least in her father's life. At all. Oh, that's... Oh dear, that's not good. That's already pretty bad. <sighs> when the sight blinds you, you know it. Oh, 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 it's not loading right. <sighs> I love that slow Wi-Fi, right? Right, really sucks sometimes. I just love when the internet just stops working. Actually, reading the title of this, kind of wanna let's see it because this actually has some personal relation to something about myself as well. A trans girl named Blank committed it on a live yesterday. I'm grieving and only from shock, but also because I saw her as a role model. She was so committed to passing out as a girl, and was always trying her best. Yesterday, I wasn't there when it happened, but I heard them talking about it when I was trying to sleep. I deeply regret not telling her that everything was going to be okay no matter what, since she was always there for me, even when I got misgendered and dead named. I wish her true happiness in heaven. Look out, here's some incredibly strong and awfully disgusting transphobia. You can't blame yourself for not telling her that's going to be okay no matter or what. As the truth is, it's not going to be okay no matter what, as you have just witnessed now for yourself. Transgender life is not a happy life. Most think they will be happier that way, but it never works out that way. Weird, I'm happier this way. Most people who have a tried it end up the exact same way in Nancy did. It's a well-known documented fact. Weird. After transitioning, I feel a lot happier than I did when and, and I was staying up, up at night. I'd, I'd contemplating doing what this person did because I didn't want to be a boy. Which is why most parents try to help their kids to not end up the same way. I know the the trans fanatic fanatics like to label anyone transphobic if they disagree with someone just there to explain any of this. Well, you are transphobic if you're going to say that being trans is the reason why they commit suicide and not blatant bigotry. That is a transphobic take on its its own. But the reality is, they're not transphobes, they're just parents that care about their, their kids. Yeah, parents that care about their kids support their kids. Crazy idea. The sad fact is, most kids will ignore their parents' advice and get so lost in the ideology of buzzwords that they can end up enslaving themselves to their... Our own labels, thus using the exact same path of being miserable, suicidal, and sadly become yet another or blank. I feel bad for blank, truly. It, it, I truly do. It doesn't have to be that way. You're really, you're really blaming, in, 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 um, 
trans suicide on the people who are trans. That's literally the wrong take. It is, in fact, provably false that trans people don't commit suicide if they're ha if they are treated it it, it properly and not uh, harmed every freaking day by bigots. Trans people actually do feel a lot better if people are accepting of them being who they are. It's when they're surrounded by people who, who say things like this that they a, a, a tend to be a lot less likely to be happy. A word to wise though, it doesn't have to be that way for anyone. It's a self-prescribed labels that cause you unhappiness. No, it isn't. It's a bigotry. Not the body you are born in. It's the bigotry and the body you're born in. To truly favor you of this fate is, be tr is to truly free yourself from the labels. Or to truly free yourself of these bigots by leaving them behind. All this bullshit about the ideology of being triggered by being misgendered, dead named, etc. Yes, because uh, wouldn't you be upset if everyone in your life insisted you are a girl, even though you were... Or, even though you are a man? Wouldn't you be upset if people kept on insisting you're a girl and calling you by a girl name instead of the one that, you're, that you uh, uh, agree with? And if everyone did that every single day for the rest of your life, I'm quite sure that eventually you would be a little bit it, it, it's sad and suicidal too. Look how much pain those exact labels quite literally causes a person. You have now seen the result for yourself. People who are not triggered by labels are free from such pain. You can be trans, boy, girl, or whatever you want. Just be free of the labels. And no one has the power to hurt you. Don't let her experience be for nothing. Learn from her experience and avoid the same mistakes. I say this because I love you. Whether you realize this or not. No, you don't. <sighs> Telling someone that they aren't who they are is not love. It's bigotry and it will hurt them. You know, my parents actually do love me and they let me be who I am. And I know I'm using myself as an example. Whew. Because it's the, the closest example that I can get and the most relatable for this video. For me to talk about anyway. And ever since I've come out, my parents have actually been and nothing but kind to me. And so, literally, I have not been feeling a bit sad at about out my life as a girl ever since. But this person probably came out to someone who's as big as OP's dad. Has been ridiculed and treated it, it, it like less than human because of, of it. And then and you wonder why they, they do this. I'm not saying that this is the inevitable outcome. I'm saying that this is what happens when bigots have what they want. So let's face it. Bigots want to harm people. Anyway. Ooh, this title. My mother, after, an hour after she found out about my boyfriend, completely wrecked my room, broke my phone, and physically abused me. Hi. Come fast. I need to keep dress, shirt, pants. Hi, Miss Voice Call. The older you get, the more you realize your mom is your best friend in, in life. You just ruined someone's private property. I don't think you're anyone's best friend. Actually, that last one kind of got to me. 
I'm going to end here. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!